I was here, you could see the remains of that fallen tree there. It's still not totally dead yet. I still see leaves on it. Matundo! Part of my tree house. Been here for a couple months. So if we're gonna analyze the trees again that fell during the storm. Last time I was here the trees that, that fell had leaves still on them, but they're all dead now. So this is gonna be kinda interesting to get another view of these fallen trees. We had a mini twister that time and knocked a lot of trees down during that storm. They're still here, they didn't cut them up, but they're dying now, they're all dead. The land of time forgot. This is the remains of that storm from last year. That mini tornado that wiped out a lot of these trees. Kind of cool to come back and check it out again. They're still here. They didn't cut them up. It's like the elephant graveyard now. Everything's dead. The land of the lost. Severe damage from this mini tornado and it's still here. It's never going to get cleaned up There's no way they have enough manpower to cut these trees up. They're just gonna to have to decay over the years There's some of the debris in the water that's still, that's still there from that storm. Dead trees that fell into the water.
Another fallen tree. It's a pretty big one. Yeah, that storm last year was pretty intense. Wiped out a lot of the forest here. Jungle. Near Sebago. If you look up there about 50 feet, I see a leopard up in the tree. We hiked through the jungle around the lake. Seen a couple pythons, an anaconda, and a leopard. My superhero dog, she was all over the place. Couldn't even find her. Back to Sebago today to check the fallen trees from the last storm last year, where they had that mini tornado. They're still there. There's no way they're gonna be able to chop them up. There's too much, too many trees, not enough manpower. I would suggest bringing in giant elephants, dragging the trees across the road and building some kind of hut. Actually, they did build a hut in the beach. I've seen it before. I also seen tons of garbage on that beach. They ruined the whole beach with all the garbage. Nice breezy day, no humidity, beautiful today. Pick of the week. The only thing that upset me is all that garbage on the beach over there. That's really wrong. That's wiping out nature and they're talking about the Green New Deal. If they really cared, they wouldn't be throwing all that garbage around like that. That's, that's horrible. When I seen it, I was really upset. It's ruining the forest. It's almost siesta time. Kundalini's taking a rest. She's not swimming today. There's that magic tree. That's where the the treasure's buried on Oak Island. Dr. Strange, the Cyclops. back into the jungle to go back to Sebago through the jungle with the leopards and the snakes we're gonna go through the jungle along the river the Zambezi River back to Sebago and check out the garbage dump that the people dumped the garbage 
We're about to head into the foliage now. I already see a snake, a giant boa constrictor. I see another leopard in the top of the tree. It came down from the mini twisters and I seen a cow flying through the sky from the, from the movie Twister. Just to reiterate, this trail crosses through the southern border. We just got another 50,000 people coming across. Oh, the yellow brick road. Everything's free. Everything's totally free now. Island. So we're going in the right direction. Just follow the X. There it is. That's where they filmed the movie Twister because there was a twister there. This is the real thing. We're going to go in and analyze again. You know, the last time we were here is when the storm just ended. Now everything's dying, it's decaying. There's no way in hell they're gonna cut this up with a chainsaw. This is permanent now. This was a pretty bad tornado that we had here. We don't normally get tornadoes here, but this was definitely pretty intense. Kunalini's even excited about this. Intense destruction in here with these trees. This is amazing now. Months ago when I came here, it had a, it was just still kind of cold out. Now it's summertime and you can see all the destruction a lot better in here. This is a pretty bad storm we had that time. The Green New Deal. And they're worried about climate change? What about this? The dumping grounds for garbage.
day at Sebago was pretty interesting. Then it was the Green New Deal when we seen all that garbage that they dumped on the ground. And they're worried about climate change? Come on. Today's video I got a lot of extra footage of the clouds because the clouds are really cool here. I just want to put them in my video because they're so beautiful. And I got a lot with my Kundalini dog, my superhero dog Bella. Hopefully it, it, the video is okay for today. It's just a shorty but mainly I wanted to see those trees that were wiped out during the storm last year again. Beautiful day at Sebago. Going back to see those trees that are wiped out during the storm. Just kind of taking it easy. Giving my Kundalini a little walk because she's still not healed totally yet. Overall, I'd say it's a good day. I don't know if people are going to like the video or not, but I'll post it anyway and we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get lucky. And then we can go to Coney Island on the roller coaster. I'm going to take to the trees now. It's faster. I'll meet you when we get to the parking lot. I'm going to go through the trees. Humgawa! Tunda run dunda nip a doo! Batundo! The mighty Hercules! The mighty Hercules. Behold, the mighty Hercules. Where's the stick, Hercules? The mighty Hercules. Bring the stick back. That a girl, yay. Bring him in, Ma. Bring him in. I'm not going to bring that stick home. That weighs about 500 pounds. Only the mighty Hercules can carry that stick. The mighty Hercules. This is at the end of today's dog video. Time! That's a wrap. At the end of today's dog video. Time! That's a wrap.